morning and welcome to another Deep Roots series. Today we are looking at Invite the Holy Spirit in. Today I want to tell you about a gentleman called the Holy Spirit. When Jesus ascended to heaven, he said in John 14, 16, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit is the third person in the Trinity. Jesus promised us when he left, he would send the Holy Spirit. He's our permanent guide, our teacher, seal of salvation, and comforter for believers. And guess what? He's going to abide with us forever to help us journey in this land, give us direction, and defeat the enemy of our souls. He also promised that the Holy Spirit's power would help his believers spread the message of the gospel around the world. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you. And you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1.8 One also has to realize that even salvation is a supernatural work only made possible by the Holy Spirit's power at work in the world. The Holy Spirit lives in you to help you live the Christian life and empowers you for service. So if you want a power packed life, you need the Holy Spirit. If we truly have the Holy Spirit within us, he will convict us of our sin and set us on the path of righteousness. Too many people want what the Holy Spirit brings but they don't want to welcome him into the places where he can minister. It does not work like that. One has to truly be surrendered and welcome him in. Remember, I said, he is a gentleman. He's not going to force himself into your life, your home, or your church. He waits for the invite, but when he comes in, he transforms and changes the atmosphere. John fourteen twenty six. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I said unto you. If you want to grow and move to another level, being baptized is important to start the growth process. But being filled with the Holy Spirit takes you into another dimension. We are fighting a spiritual war. And while Jesus is our advocate with the Father, the Holy Spirit empowers us to deal with the plan of the enemy. Thus, we need to be totally surrendered to him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. The Holy Spirit gives us download and revelation. He's intelligent and wise. He's all-knowing and thus is able to direct our lives. Wisdom comes from the Holy Spirit, who is from God. Therefore, every believer has access to spiritual wisdom, but not every believer taps into it. The Holy Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost. And once you make yourself available to him and let him have control, the promise of his power will be extended to you. As God's children, we need to hear the Holy Spirit for clear direction in our life. But as I said, you need to welcome it into the places as he's a gentleman. You can't want your church to grow and keep the Holy Spirit out and embrace tradition. You can't want your life to grow and you listen to the words of man and not be led by the Spirit of God. You can't want breakthrough in an area of your life and you go to palm readers and astrologers. You have power and authority as a child of God. You have to be influenced and impacted by the Holy Spirit more than you are the things of man. The Holy Spirit wants to give us victory. And too many Christians are living defeated and weak because they have not allowed the Holy Spirit to fight for them. Today, I encourage you to welcome the Holy Spirit into your life and access the benefits of him living in you and through you. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. May we welcome him into our lives to fight for us and to give us download and revelation in your word. We thank you, Lord, for all you will do through us as we make ourselves available to be used by you. Amen. Join us next week 
7 a.m. on Monday for another Deep Roots.